we're gonna start the recording. If DDD Pikachu, this match was like notably really hard for the like, uh, DDD. <laughs> Obviously, DDD is huge. Pikachu has just like a massive combo and machine. But we've seen that, we've seen time and time from these DDD players that these matches literally do not matter. So, like, we'll see how long uh, it's gonna go. Yeah, starting off a little from zoning, same thing in the corner. <laughs> uh, Tranko is just really, is out frame data in the right now, which is like, what Pikachu is Gordo knocks back. Uh, Thunder Kill does not back. Gordo. Deedrill is one of the single best approach options in the game. <gasps> Wait a minute, that dash attack. Two frames and another two frame on the dash attack. And then Tranko already loses a stock from Narnia. and Narnia is in a very good position. Um, should probably start saying um that way. But yeah, that was really good. Uh, I said it's just, it's, it's just my, my head. Really good grab right there. Yeah. You know, um, Tranko is keeping it close with that thunder while wow, these two players are going at each other. You can actually quite never see like people kill DD that early, but just the power of Pikachu, man. Pikachu can kill you at 80%. Uh, the Pikachu's playing well because he has good edge guarding! Oh my god, another dash attack to your frame. Is he gonna get another one? Oh, he is not. Tranko is just like. He needs, to, he needs to do something about these dash decks at ledge. Very, very, it does seem very, very difficult to do it. Now we're gonna have. Oh, I thought we were gonna see something. I thought we were gonna see something. Really good uh, command grab. Is that gonna be the confirm? No, it's not. I think he was a bit tidy late right there. Well, actually, first of all, I think it was the percent range was way too low. Second of all, I think he was a little bit too late on the reaction that he is relatively frame perfect, if I remember correctly. But that dash attack two frame is gonna take another stock right there. Uh, Tranko probably should be like mixing up his recovery in this situation because he should probably because like what he's doing is that like, he kind of just like oh I'm Pikachu XD I'll probably just like go back on stage whatever whatever way I want it's not it's just not happening because Narnia is just catching on to all the recovery efforts. and this is just very difficult man this is really difficult to deal with with any character Thunder Jolt is one of the best kind of big goals in the entire game. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, he should not stop uh, jumping out of that situation. Because that's real. <gasps> what? Okay. I think he was able. Oh, he almost triangulated the Gordo uh, after he hit twice. Gordo has like weird properties that like I can't sometimes just like understand. Is that going to be. That's not going to be good stuff. But that looks really, really difficult for Narnia uh, to do. That forwarder is not quite going to do it. 179 to 60%. <gasps> wait a minute. I thought I thought I was going to. I was like, wait Are we, are we just going to have some cheese and cheese? That four air is not quite gonna be doing enough. I think Gordo saved him. And yeah, Tranko is just getting called out on all his movements. His movements are getting called out. Every single time he approaches, he's just getting like, you know, getting the bank goes off, getting hit like really bad. But he's just committing too hard. This man, I think that four deck almost killing, but not quite gonna do it. That dash deck, Knight, not quite gonna hit because he's, you know, well aware of that situation. Um, that almost did it though. It's not gonna fit. I thought it wanted to kill. This is actually really doable for Trank. Oh my god. He just dashed that with invincibility. That's ridiculous. That was really cool. That was really good. No, so yeah, oh no, I took game one. That was like really, really fast set. That was really weird. <laughs> Alright, this is game two, Tranko versus Narnia. 
I think he. I think they're staying. If they, they're not. Three, they're going. They're going. Two, they're going to smash one, This stage is slightly better for DP. This stage is slightly better for Pikachu. I think because the platform kind of just allows him to run away a little bit. Uh, Pikachu. Pikachu's disadvantage is really good. Don't get me wrong, but like not having platforms is definitely gonna hurt Pikachu a bit more. Me. Okay. Trango getting these lightning loops. Sixty-two percent. Wait a second. Okay. I thought you were gonna manage yours, but. Yeah, not quite for an Edgeguard situation. That forward air is not quite going to uh, kill. I was expecting to see like an up air bridge, but I guess uh, I fly. first of all, I fly. Second of all, like, I guess like he was just not in the space at all. So right there. Yeah, no, Draco's doing really well. Way better than the first duck. Oh, big first duck. Yeah, he's doing way better in this game. He is just letting Narnia come in, playing to DD's weaknesses. Which is very important in this matchup. Wait a minute, are we gonna see a... I thought we were gonna see a lightning. Was... Oh my god! That almost killed! That was really good. That was the young... This is the young Esam right there. Sometimes it literally feels like Trango is the young Esam. That was amazing. Trango is a really good player. Uh, he, I think he recently beat Goblin in the last like, couple weeks ago. Not a couple weeks ago. It was like a week ago. Oh, wait a minute. That down air though. Wow. Trango is just getting the download. Just... Up two stops against Narnia. Not much you can do. Wait a minute, I'm gonna have a double back air. Up air! Oh, we're gonna have that. I thought we were gonna have a double back air, but I think Narnia knows a bit too much to not get hit by that. Yeah, this is really, really rough for DVD. DVD does not thrive when he's in this about when he's in that deficit. This character does not thrive when he's in that deficit. Because it's like, you can't bro do anything like that. He doesn't have any leeway. I guess this character came and just camped really hard. And this advantage sucks, but that up air is going to take that stock. And, you know, now you're having a slice, a bit of life right there in this game. Too. Trego want to uh, take this into a game three and then possibly take the game, uh, game, game three. That forward air, double forward air, not quite going to do it. He uppies into the door. Possibly just taking the. Taking, like, disadvantage. Taking the. Neutral wins with the four air. That's gonna be do it. Game three is gonna be. This is gonna be game three. Yeah, I think I think Trenko is gonna stay Pikachu this game for me, obviously. Pikachu is really, really good against you. Well here's the thing, you know, you sometimes just like downloads him, so I feel like this this game is gonna be very close because uh, both players have been downloading each other the last two games. One thing Norio should stop doing is jumping at a disadvantage because I think Trenko is just catching him in disadvantage with the thunders, the jump reads, the forward airs with these jumps. DD's double jump is not quite good enough to like get him out of situations. He's really big. So sometimes you just kind of have to learn how to take the hit and then just like try to roll with it. Try to roll with it. The match is really bad for um, DD, but yeah, Narnia is doing really well. So kind of like counter expect that. Alright, this is game three. Yes, dude, this is actually a really good choice for DDD personally. Uh, Pikachu can't really camp in this stage. Yeah, it's for that exact reason. If you Tijol on that platform right there, it kind of like falls back into him. So this makes probably possibly makes the matchup slightly easier for DDD. Because um, the, way Pikachu, the way Pikachu camps, it's just like this character. Pikachu, Pikachu in PS2 might not even be like a tough character. Because like the way he works and the way he like operates neutral becomes a lot different. Uh, but even then it's still DD Pikachu, so like still for uh, that matchup. But yeah, um, Narnia keeping it really close in this game one. So, uh, this is definitely way better for DD than in Pikachu. Obviously like it's still a losing matchup, but like you can still get the wait a minute. 
Yeah, that's what I was talking to earlier. You should really not jump out of this event and just take the weak thunder. It's better to just take the, take the weaker hit and then take more damage than to just die very early to a really, really strong move. He keeps getting away with these double jumps, and I feel like Trenko is keeping him yeah, exactly in that situation. That back air, though, not quite gonna do it. But I think that second Gordo is gonna hit Narnia up one stop barely. Trenko can make this back anytime. Okay, that was not coming to but that's scary. Uh, wait a minute, I thought he was gonna go for it. Oh, wait a second. That quick attack into the Gordo. I think this guy is not quite gonna kill. Yep, DIing away from the grab. Getting the 12% that Narnia. What? That forward smash is going to do it, and Trenko just rolls into it. That was the that was a zero to death of a century right there. And I think Trenko got really scared in that situation when he missed the death. This Narnia kind of took advantage of that. Uh, Narnia will do really well to take this game three, personally. Narnia is playing really well today. A lot of good people players online. Back air, back air. You think he should be attack canceling? I feel like Narnia is FDIing out of the way from the back air. Because you can do that, but I feel like you, so if you attack cancel back here, you can't FDI out of that, but Oh wait a second. Yeah, Narnia keeps jumping out of this advantage, which I do not agree with. He's gonna take a stuck, lose a stuck right there. He keeps jumping out of this advantage. It's DDD, that's something you don't wanna do. DD's double jumps are really bad. Like, like height-wise, it doesn't get you at a disadvantage. It only helps you recover. Sometimes you just have to take the hit, like, and then you're 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 definitely not gonna die as early. I think Tranko looking really promising to take this uh um, take this get this comeback and take this stuff uh, really hard to sometimes DD take this uh take the it. Oh, we're gonna have oh we're not gonna I thought we were gonna see a double up air version, but I feel like we were just a little late. And now Tranko already has a lead back. Yeah, this is this Tranko is just playing the formula Pikachu stuff, camping really hard. He was doing this really well from like the part where he was just down two stocks and almost killing. That forward air, forward to forward is not quite gonna kill, but he's keeping it back in the bed this minute. And then, oh, that star kind of saves him again, right there. 129 percent. Narnia, he's going up. That dash tag is not quite gonna do it. Almost up to up, up to a percent. So I feel like just Trickle wants to just take it in that safe place, but no, no one's in the safe spot when you are fighting DDD. That's almost going to do it, but that's not quite gonna do it. That dash attack though. Almost killing. Wait a second. Oh my god, that was really weird. He quick attacks into the dash attack, and then Narnia takes 2 1. Game 3 last hit over Narnia. Really good comeback. That set was a, a roller coaster of emotions right there. 